Hey everyone, welcome to The Intermission, a podcast about music. Your host goes by the name L.A., take a seat and enjoy the convo. Produced by Amazing Studios. Today's topic is Max Out 3. What's going on everybody? My bad, my bad, I was stretching a little bit. Late night, it's after midnight a little bit, I gotta get up to work in the morning, but uh, we want to do this, alright? This is your boy L.A. Styles, a.k.a. The L.A. Styles, with the first episode of The Intermission, okay? This is my podcast where we talk battle rap and everything battle rap, okay? Um, It was kind of here, sort of, previously in a different form, but we scrapped that, all right? We back official. This is the YouTube channel. We do have a YouTube channel. Um, if you want to catch us on YouTube, all right? That's if you're listening to this on uh, your streaming service, all right? Just go look up your boy, L.A. Styles, on YouTube. The L.A. Styles on YouTube. Or you can look up Amazing Studios on YouTube, okay? I don't know which channel this is going to drop at, drop on currently. <laughs> supposed to be building up Amazing Studios and all our podcasts are supposed to be there. But I kind of got a following already on LA Styles, but I'll figure it out. So make sure you subscribe to both. It's, I'm probably going to leave it under Amazing Studios. That's M A. Oh, I'm, 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 so my bad. Pardon. That's going to be my new pardon me. I am sleepy. A M A Z A N. Amazing Studio on YouTube or the LA Styles on uh youtube check out both um but yeah what's going on everybody man i i want to do this official especially before the card drop even though it's getting later and later um and i just got my room set back up and everything like that man if you're watching me on youtube let me know how i look to y'all you know what i mean i think i'm gonna go with the setup also uh we'll be game streaming this is one of my um one of my scene selections was out of my scene collection it's the pastel if you want to know what it is it's the pastel if you want to know what it is all right and it just happened to be the show named intermission when i seen this at the intermission up there please wait and then you probably gonna be watching this in between battles or better rap events and, oh man it just lined up for your boy it just lined up for your boy but uh again rbe got event coming up uh my favorite battle rapper of all time even though he don't rap as much lately at least battle rap as much lately young eels is on here young ice pack eel who you know cooler ready to make a fooler young eel versus bk look at that in the line right up on the screen you know what i mean um before i get started shout out arp shout out rbe and everything you guys doing over there this year they had a lot of great events. Y'all make sure to go subscribe to RBE's YouTube channel. That's Rare Breed Entertainment YouTube channel. Okay. They got a card coming out called Max Out 3. Now, I'm going to give you the lineup of the battles. Okay. Let's go over the lineup of the battles for Max Out 3. RBE presents Max Out 3 directed by Ruin Your Day. If you don't know who or what Ruin Your Day is, make sure you go check out their YouTube channel, okay? They can film like crazy. And I went to school for digital cinematography. Uh, shout out Avocado. They film a lot of battle rap events. They do a lot of great content, uh, a lot of audio and um, visual productions on both ends. Uh, so they have a, a very signature sound and... Uh, high star quality for audio and video okay so you make sure you go check them out if you got bad rap events or just want to film anything i believe avocado could film anything you know he just likes music so he films a lot of you know i mean better rap events uh same way you'll see like little uh what was his name little x you know what i mean like you got some some music industry music producers that only film music videos you know what i mean i don't know or I highly doubt that they film television shows or movies but they film a lot of music videos avocado film a lot of battle rap events okay and he does great work so rbe presents max out three directed by ruin your day this is the card lineup 
okay from top to bottom you have hitman holla versus ill will all right i'm gonna give you the whole lineup of the card and then we're gonna you know i mean kind of touch on each battle uh, let me check my time so you got hitman holla versus ill will that's one then we have a verb versus a war okay then young ill versus big k calico versus goods head ice versus show off qb black diamond versus rx and again if you don't know who, what battle rap you know what i mean or uh too familiar with uh, a lot of people qb black diamond and rx are both females so that's a female battle uh, if you're a horn dog, make sure to go cop the pay per view because you probably can't cop the tickets. You know what I mean? Cop it to, to, to see some young ladies rap if you're interested in that. You know what I mean? Uh, every little bit helps. You know what I mean? You gotta sell this card. Uh, then we have XL versus uh, Death the Kid, Zay versus Cino Savvy, Riggs, another one of my, my not only say all time favorites, but Riggs is one of my favorites. He be getting off. Riggs versus J Slash, and then K Venom versus J Breed. Okay, so that's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I think there's supposed to be a surprise battle, possibly. I think there's supposed to be an eleven battle, but I don't think they've announced it yet. I could have missed something. Uh, I'm gonna start being in the loop more often, or at least attempting to be in the loop more often. I do work a full-time job so uh again that's this is what's prolonged the situation but i'm gonna start trying to get these videos up at least if if not every day i can't guarantee every day right now at least every other day i'm gonna try to feed y'all content now the other podcasts are coming up ice coffee coming back in september right now we got the intermission back uh this is the better rap channel ice coffee is just you know I me mean? me and my guy coffee and our podcast ice coffee we was here once before on all the streaming platforms. We coming back better than ever. Full steam ahead, no stopping. We got y'all. Okay, so make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. And we're going to do a lot of viewer and listener uh, participation videos and content. Okay? It's like now I'm pre-recording this, but normally what we want to do, especially on Ice Coffee, is record a lot of stuff live. So we can get you guys feedback into the situation but we got to get a schedule for that okay youtube would allow us to do that um but that will only work live and we like to have a lot of um participation you know what i mean more like a a, a, a well a more well-rounded conversation you know what i mean uh, but we're gonna do some pre-recorded things to give us that break in between those live shows but we really like the live shows okay so again, so now you have one, two, three, four, five, at least five strong Midwest uh, battle rappers in Hitman Holla, Ill Will, A Verb, Young Ill, and Calico. Calico. Now, supposedly A Ward is from the Midwest, maybe from the East Coast. That's up for debate. We'll figure out, we'll figure that out during this battle. Okay, top of the card, Hitman Holla versus Ill Will. Not one I'm extremely excited about, but I do feel like it'll be a very entertaining battle. For my takes, my battle rap takes, okay? Aver versus A Ward. Now, this is what's really been selling the card. Aver has been on a tear on social media, especially on the spaces in YouTube, talking crazy about A, uh, a Ward. Him, his four horsemen better come with something um come this event because if not it, it's probably gonna be bad bro i ain't gonna need to hold you oh don't put this turn that off right quick <laughs> that's uh september's uh second by the way if i didn't say max out three is september 2nd all right tickets are sold out but i think if i'm not mistaken that's in uh that's in atlanta georgia all right try to get as much content as i can okay um so yeah a, a verb versus a ward that's gonna be that's that's the car seller right there if you know you know 
and a a ver been talking real crazy to a war a war really going to show up and show out because he's not really been saying a lot on the social media which is fine um you you starting to look crazy a little bit though because the little tidbits that you do put out there a ver been flipping all your shit and talking crazy <laughs> talking crazy to this man so you really gonna have to show up and show out on like a ridiculously strong performance because if you lose it's going to prove a lot of the things, not everything that a verb is saying. It's going to put a lot. It's going to, it's going to share some light and, and prove a lot of things to be true though, that you really can't hang at a certain level. If if he, if he dog walk you in this, in this, uh, this show, uh, a verb though, a verb, let me talk to you. You got to show up too though. Now I'm not saying that you don't normally show up, but you got to show up too though, bro. I'm not going to even hold you. Cause if you talk this crazy, now, I know what you're going to say. You can just have a great showing and you're going to... Man, listen. As as crazy as you talking to A... Let me see. Y'all want to say like that? Yeah, as crazy as you talking to A Ward, you going to have to probably win this one, bro. I ain't going to even hold you. As crazy as you talking to Ward, you going to have to win this one. You bring this on yourself. Okay? If... If you weren't talking this crazy, it could have been a debatable and it would have been cool. Right now, I feel like you got to win, though. That's my that's my personal opinion. That don't mean shit. But to me, you got to win this man because you talking too crazy like this man just can't hang and he don't belong and he don't. You can't. You can't. That's like that's like Melly Mel talking that crazy about Eminem and then putting out that type of diss. You know what I'm saying? It that don't work. It don't work. When they when you heard that this, it's like, man, what is man, you can't talk about him. Maybe somebody else can, but you can't. That's real. Hold on, let me check my stuff right quick. That's real. Um Along, along with that, oh, there we go. I had to turn my, um, get my audio on my headset right. I was hearing myself. No, I didn't like that. Um, but I started that just to make sure my, my stuff was, you know what I mean, legit. I've got to turn that off and I'm starting to hear myself more and more. I'm like, what the, okay. Um, but yeah, Verb, you gotta, you gotta show up, man. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. You got to show up and show out because you talking crazy about this man. War, you haven't been saying too much, but you've been talking like you one of those people. So you got to show up and show out too. Now, the best jo- the best outcome is both of y'all show up and it'd be a ridiculously debatable. Now, y'all both will win in a way, but I feel like if it's debatable, then a war wins. That's how I feel. I feel like if it's debatable, then a war wins because Verb said... He shouldn't even be able to hang at this level. That's how I feel. If it's a debatable, a war wins. So verb, you kind of gotta win. War, you can you gotta at least make it a debatable and, and you win. Now you really should should just be aiming to win, but you gotta at least make it a debatable. And and I, and I think you will get him. Um, it's probably what the consensus is gonna be. Only because of what Verb has been saying during all this time. Like you shouldn't be here, you're not close to him. You ain't met somebody of his caliber or in his league and whatever the case. If you can you can get a tie with that, with him saying that, like you're not close, but you get a tie, then it proves that, you know what I mean, kind of what he said, not true to a degree. You know what I mean? You you can you can finagle that. The verb left that door open by saying the stuff that he said. You know what I mean? Um with that, let's go to the next one. Young Ill versus Big K. Okay. Now I don't follow a lot of back and forth or anything of that nature on uh on Twitter. All right. I'm going I'm to catch some things. I'm not going, I'm not going to try to catch everything and I'm not, it's not the petty channel. Okay. I don't know if they've been going back and forth or not. I'm hoping I know big K going to be locked in. I know big K going to be locked in. He going to bring those back to back haymakers, those punches, and he going to be aiming to get another, another, um, what's looked to be as a great top tier and or legend and or, goat contender out of here you know what i mean he won't he go, he's, he's coming to put ill will i mean not ill will young eels 
head on the mantle. I I, I really believe that. At the same time, Ill, Ill, you've been gone for a minute. And I know sometimes you, the one thing I didn't like about Ill, you know, he's, he is my favorite. My one thing I didn't like about Ill is some of his punches be too subtle of punches. They're not like a solid haymaker. It's, I think it's how he delivers. Sometimes he'll deliver too smooth and, you know what I mean, versus... I don't know. It, it's, it's, uh, some of his haymakers used to come off a certain way to me. Like, it's good, and then almost like there's a nice buildup and stuff, and then I kind of got let down by how, I don't know if it, how, how it was delivered or how it was set. I don't know what it was. But he, he is the, probably the most all-around, natural all-around battle rapper. He's the most natural all-around battle rapper. Like, he came in the door with everything. He could punch. He could scheme. He had haymakers. He had presence. He had performance. He had delivery. He had jokes. He had comedy. You know what I mean? Picture, picture, uh, uh almost like a, uh, <laughs> for lack of better terms, shout out to my boy Pastay. Rest in peace, Pastay. He was like a black Pastay, or Pastay is like a Caucasian young eel. You know what I mean? To me, um, he can be serious and then be roasting you or laughing at you the next moment. You know what I mean? That, that was young ill like that was his superpower and it was all natural he, he didn't he didn't force it I had to learn it it don't seem like it came off like it was just ill he was extremely dangerous that that way you didn't kind of know how to write for ill that's a bar you didn't kind of know how to write for ill um because you never knew you know what i mean you just had to be the best you that you could be at whatever level you was at that time and hopefully you know what I mean? It it compared, but other than that, you know what I mean. He, he probably was gonna get you. Um, but yeah, I feel like ill. You gotta you gotta be focused. I feel like Verb and Hitman, y'all gotta be keeping them focused. I don't know if he has anything going on, or whatever the case is. Sometimes he came back, he choked. Sometimes he came back, he stumbled. Sometimes he didn't have anything. You know what I mean? I don't want that ill. I want a solid, solid ill. You know what I mean? This is a good enough time. By the time the date comes around, I think it would have been like a month and a half or something like that. Month and a half, two months. They probably knew like a month and a half, two months ahead of time. So he had a decent amount of time to be able to write and hopefully remember his material. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm, I'm rooting for Ill. Uh, so if I go back to the top, Hitman vs. Ill Will, I'm not too, you know what I mean? But it can go either way because that, that's not really a battle that I'm, that I'm looking for. Cool with both. I ain't going to say cool with both of them, but I like both of them. Let me say it like that. I like Hitman Holler and I like Ill Will for different reasons. Um, Verb and A-Ward. I'm hoping Verb get the dub. Verb, one of my favorites. He ain't my, you know what I mean? Young Ill is still my, my legend favorite, but he's not active, so I put him to the side. That, But his his spot is solidified. If you don't hear me talk about him like that in the, in the future. It's like, oh, that's my favorite. Oh, Lynn, you said he was your favorite. He is my favorite, but he's not active like that. He's he's GOAT status up to the side. Um, Verb, I want Verb to win this. I want Verb to win this. I, I feel like Big K is going to win his. If Ill drags out his punches with, with his style, Cause, Cause K is gonna be back to 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 back, every two to three to four bars. Ill's probably gonna be like every six to eight bars, but they gotta be haymaker. They just can't be regular punch if it's if it's gonna be like that, because your your opponent is hitting you with every two to four, and he's hitting you with punches like gut shots, gut shots, gut shots. You can't have six to eight bars to a to a regular gut shot then. Because by that time, he done hit you with two for every one that you landed. So your six or eight got to be haymakers. They can't be regular punches if you expect to equate to his punches. So if he's punching every four, that means in eight bars, he has two punches. By the time you get to your eight, you can't have a regular punch because that means he out got, he got you. All right, and of course, we ain't basing on punch. We're basing on things that's landing, right? So that means in your eight, you got to have a haymaker to equate to his two punches. This two punches gonna be either haymakers or close to haymakers. You know what I mean? Or like a punch and a haymaker, one and one. So, um, 
I'm going either way though, but I won't ill to I won't ill to win that one. Verb, you need to win yours, and I'll take either one I hit, man, and ill will. Fourth battles, Calico versus Goods. Now, URL slept on this battle for years. I don't even know how long ago it's been since this initiated. And I wanna say that Calico called out Goods a long time ago. And Goods just never stepped into battle. Calico's even running. Um, I feel like this is this has always been a natural battle to have for the simple fact of people say that they argue in the same lane, right? Of street talk talking to, to people, right? Um, for example, you have T Rex in that lane, you have Easy the Block Captain in that lane, you have Calico in that lane, you have Goods in that lane, even though Goods kind of elevated his talk more to like money outside of the streets that it started like street slash money now it's kind of like more money and kind of jokes or whatever but he's still in that lane uh t-top is in that lane there's there's more than a few in that lane so i feel like whatever your whatever your category is you at some point in time have to see everybody in that category you have to see everybody in that category just to show the other people that you number one in that category. You can't come to me in my category. Let's say I might be known to be a writer or a puncher and try to beat me or beat him and beat him. And and you ain't even number one in yours. So even if you beat us, oh man, I'm, I'm the king of this. I'm the, you ain't king of nothing. You ain't even number one in your category. You number one in your category. You know what I mean? So I feel like all the talkers, all the street talkers got to see each other at some point in time to see who's the king of the street talking. Like who, who, who's one of the best or the best in the street talk. Same thing with the punchers. Same thing with the writers. Same thing with um, the comedians. Same thing with, with the performances. You know what I mean? With the uh, the performers. Who's At some point in time, we, we got to distinguish who's who in this category. If you aim to be up there, you know what I mean? At some point in time. That's at some point in time. You gotta see the people in your category. All right, Calico done, done saw a lot of the people that's in his category. Goods is probably the last one he needs to see in his category currently. Uh, besides some of the newer people <clears throat> or people that's just maybe at least on, on his level or close to his level. Goods is one of the last people, if not the last, the last street talker guy that he has to see. That he has to see, to in my opinion. Um I, I'm going for Calico in this one. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm, I'm, I'm going for Calico. I'm hoping Calico gets him. Um, next we got Head Ice versus Show Off. Okay, the Wolf versus the Killer. Okay, Show Off been doing this thing for a while, and I feel like he's just getting back to it. Not too long after, well, it seemed like a while after the Audi Boom situation on RBE, where Audi Boom got killed by Big K. And I feel like I didn't see Show Off for a while in between battles uh, or in between some battles. But it's not like he's getting back into it. And they, they really like this Blue Room, this RBA, RBE Blue Room uh, events. And this is in the Blue Room. It's like Show Off, this is one that he needs. He needs this to put on his mantle, okay? This, I don't know if this will get him higher level competition, but it should. Um, even though he do have some names, I know that he want to move up. Um, and this is a very interesting conversation uh, to go talk to the wolf. Uh, Head Ice. Head Ice. I don't feel like Head Ice needs this battle or needs to win this battle. I do feel like he need a strong showing, though, because he is showing signs of, of aging you know what i mean no disrespect to the wolf all respect to the wolf you know what i mean but i think he's aging out with with his category he's another talker right he's he's also so pardon me he's also in that in that talking category with calico now his talk is different though it's very different acts easy yeah you know what i mean head ice talk is very different it's very um encrypted all right i say it like that his talk is very encrypted so if you know you know um but i do feel like head ice needs a strong showing against show off he does uh, but i feel like he can do it though he can get in there and make that happen um i go either or because i got no problems with either one 
Uh, just like Hitman and Ill Will. So I don't got no picks out of that one. I'm, I'm going for both. QB, Black Diamond versus Rx. Now, Rx, I haven't watched too much of. Now, I have seen some of her battles, and she don't battle that often. She's on the West Coast. Uh, she's she's Hispanic. Mexican, if I'm not mistaken, but she's Hispanic. She's very dope. Uh, lyrical battle rapper. Female battle rapper. And QB, Black Diamond, African-American, of course. Now, QB, uh, they, she got, also has the nickname of Queen of Disrespect. QB is, is, is very dope. Um, or can be. Let me say it like that. She has her pockets where she can come in and just be an asshole and be disrespectful. And then she got moments where she can come in and actually she can write some slick shit and and make it sound real good. She's she's kind of like a um, she's disrespectful. Her categories will be disrespectful uh, in no order. Um, witty and performer. All right, she's a, she, to me, she's a performer probably more than anything. Um, her projection, her, vo- her vocal projection is, is nice as hell, too. All out of this world, her vocal projection. So watch out for QB Black Diamond. Uh, and I know she coming in there to get RX up out of here. But I feel like RX, RX just battled Jazz. And the consensus, I didn't see that battle. The consensus say that Jazz won. That's what it looked like to me. I will. I, I've seen more people say Jazz won than RX. Okay, I say it like that. So I feel like RX needs this. I feel like RX needs this. If if RX is is supposed to be up on this tier, because Jazz is is looked at as one of the goats, uh, QB is looked at as one of the goats, or at least one of the le- two of the legends. And you get those opponents, and then you always lose to those opponents, or the consistency say that you lose to those opponents. That's going to show other people in there that you don't belong, and then the other people on that level probably won't take you because they're going to argue, man, you just lost to her, you just lost to her, you just lost to her, you just lost to Why would I battle you? You clearly not supposed to be up here. You got to go back down there. You know what I mean? And then you get kind of less battles like that. So I feel like RX with that showing versus Jazz, again, I'm about to see it for myself, right? But a little bit of the consensus say that she lost. Um, I'm assuming she still had a good showing though. I need her to have a strong showing, if not a dub versus QB Black Diamond. I feel like RX need, needs to win this. All right, I don't have a I don't have a dog in this fight either. I, I, I can't pick. Now we go to XL versus Def the Kid. I haven't listened to a lot of Def the Kid, but I am way more familiar with with XL. I'm going XL just off the shore. I, I know XL and and I, I want him to XL. Shit. Bars. Uh, do you have Zay versus Eno Savvy? I haven't watched too many of either. I've heard of both though, so I can't call it. Riggs versus J Slash. I think J Slash is like a RBE brick by brick, like you know what I mean, type of guy. I'm going Riggs though, because that's one of my faves. I'm going Riggs. K Venom versus J Breed. Um, I can't call that one either. So the ones I can't call is Hitman Holla versus Ill Will. Head Ice vs. Show Off, QB QB vs. X or RX. I mean, uh, Zay vs. Cino Savvy and K Venom vs. J Breed. I don't have a dog in those fights. Okay. Uh, again, I am going for Aver. I am going for Young Eel, uh, and I'm going for XL for for sure. Oh, and Riggs for sure. I want to put that out there. So September second, y- y'all make sure to go catch RBE. They in the blue room. Max out three. Okay. Y'all see the trailer playing up top? Look, they are RX right there. Talk your shit, X. Talk your shit, X. Okay. So y'all make sure to go catch that man. Again, shout out RBE. Shout out ARP. Shout out to everybody on the car. Shout out to Aver for all his promoting skills. You know what I mean? Uh, Captain Marketable. That's his nickname for a reason. He's selling the hell out of this card. I, I hope uh, everybody will. I hope I hope this ends up being a dope event. I hope don't nobody really come and choke. Now, I know that's that's kind of like um, throwing a black hat out there. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm hoping for, for no chokes and not too much stumbling. Um, I'm hoping everybody come on their A game and, 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 and give – their opponents and themselves and the world the best showing that they can. You know what I mean? 
things happen though. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, if everything goes as well, or the majority goes as well, then we win. We win. The culture wins. The fans win. Uh, the media wins. That's going to give somebody a lot to talk about. And the space is going to be cracking again. YouTube going to be cracking again. Okay. So with that said, I appreciate everybody stopping by, man. We have a 30 minute mark. I'm going to try to do these around 30 minutes. I ain't going to hold y'all for way too longer. Way too much longer. And I'm going to get out of here, man. Again, this is your boy, LA Styles, aka the LA Styles. And welcome to the intermission. Make sure you follow uh, Amazing Studios, A M A Z A N Studios on YouTube. And follow your boy, the LA Styles, on YouTube. All right, the LA Styles on YouTube. You can also follow the LA Styles on social media. Now, if you you watch this on YouTube, You'll see my uh, my tags at the bottom of the screen, okay? For what it is on Instagram, YouTube, and uh, and Twitter, all right? Let, let, let's build that up. Let's get this community going. Let's get these interests going, man. I, I got a lot of plans, a lot of plans. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a long time coming, but I got I got a lot coming for y'all, okay? Uh, look, they got my boy Riggs. Get him, Riggs. That was on the trenches card. That was on a trip. Look at that. Look at that showing. That was on Gutter, Gutter City. Shout out Gutter City. Shout out Easy to Block Captain. Riggs. Riggs went to work on that boy over there. I think he battled uh, K Walker, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was K Walker. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. Again, appreciate y'all, man. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that share button. And uh, I'm going to get up out of here, man. I got to go work on this intro and these outros for these videos for when I'm not live. You know what I mean? So we don't look bootleg over here. Y'all, you know I mean, we're trying to look professional. That's what the whole setting is for. Um, and I hope y'all appreciate it, man. Uh, that I didn't even put my lights up on my shelf over there, but I got the blur background anyway, so I don't know, man. Look at that, I was eating and everything. You got my peanut butter over there, gotta get my protein. I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Hey, I'm hungry. It's it's a, a quarter to one, man. I gotta get to bed <laughs> again. Look later, appreciate y'all. Everybody stay safe out there, man. And uh, I'm out. Peace. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you later.